Hello, beautiful people of the internet, and welcome to another video at Black Sheep Blog. I'm Juice, and today we are going to be planning October in my bullet journal. I didn't have a plan coming into October like every other month, but once I just started putting the basic things down on paper, everything else just kind of flowed. So it, it's definitely recreatable and doable, and although it doesn't look like it was time consuming, it was very time consuming like anything in bullet journaling. Um, yeah, bullet journaling in general is time consuming, but when you put in that, that much more effort, it becomes that much more time consuming, as we all know. Anyways, I'm going to be trying to take on the challenge of Inktober this month. And even though I was successful somewhat in last year's October, this October, Inktober, I'm going to be switching up how I do things and um, really just kind of making my drawings way more smaller, way more precise, and a lot more accessible for me this month. And I highly recommend if anyone else is taking on the challenge of Inktober to also steal this idea and just run with it. Um, just because I think a lot of times we see other people doing Inktober on these huge poster papers or um, huge formats with extremely um, a lot of with a lot of extreme detail, but Inktober is really more about how you can push yourself. And if it's doing a doodle every day and coloring it in in a five by five dotted box, that's challenging yourself, and that's doing Inktober successfully. So this year, instead of doing it in a separate journal and making it a two page layout. I just really stuck to individual boxes for this month and I'm excited. Uh, I don't want to put too much commitment into Inktober just because I know if I try to do the whole bazazz, it's just everything is going to go wrong before like week one. So we are going to be uh, starting the year this month off right by setting the standards a little bit lower than what we would normally. Um, but we're going to definitely overcome and kill it this semester, this semester, kill it this uh, Inktober.
again. It's a red stick.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you'd like to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and also like and comment because that lets me know that you guys want to keep seeing these videos. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing a sweater in 98 degree weather in sunny South Florida, that is because this is an original Black Sheep blog sweater. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I actually designed the um, drawing myself and I got it printed on a, on a sweater. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. I also had some tote bags that I ended up selling. So if you guys are interested in having more mer merchandising for Black Sheep Blog, definitely leave that in the comments because even though I'm sweating, I look fabulous and that's all that matters.